Hello? Oh shit. It's not up. Oh my god. Ah. Come up! <gasps> Can you see that? How's it going? <laughs> what did you think? <laughs> I'm sorry, L. <laughs> he got. <sighs> He's very pretty now. And options. Anime Santa. Yeah, Ikemen Santa actually. Full screen. I'll turn on the music a little bit. Oh, there's Void? Holy shit. <laughs> Good morning, Eliza. Wait, no, let's turn him up a little bit. Alright, here he is. Take him in. Why am I so down low? Hold on. Alright, give me a second. Ah. Uh... Why is it? I made the concoction of like hot water and cold water to get warm water. I poured in too much hot water. <laughs> All right, on <laughs> chat box, chat title. All right. Eto, listen. <laughs> it's cold. Alright, let's start. Right? Wait, I just noticed this is his bodysuit or whatever, or like whatever shirts he's got on is shiny. <laughs> Alright, let's go say hi to um, anime Yandere Santa. English, please. I'm illiterate. Molly, no. My name is not Molly. My name is Alec. Alright. I wonder if I have to move later. Water dripping. It's so dark and cold. What is this place? I can't see anything. Why does the rotating hat Loki look like, um... You know, like in... I don't know. I mean, he is Yandere. That's what it said. In the description. <laughs> Hold on, give me a second. I need to change some of my settings. Uh, oh. Hey. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I keep jumping. <laughs> oh well. Alright. Okay. This should help a little. All right, okay. It looks- the rotating Santa hat looks like the meat stick that they do in like most cartoons and clip art, but with like foam around it. <laughs> Stand up. Stand up for what? I feel dizzy. <laughs> What's on the floor? Is that blood? Why? Whose blood is this? What the hell is going on? Snap. What's snapping? I guess. Why is there a Santa hat here? You're awake. Oh. <gasps> Wait. That Santa? You Don't be afraid. I'll take good care of you. Okay. I'll protect you. 
I promise. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Go to sleep, my dear. Huh? Ah. Uh. Oh, fuck, I passed out. Send help. Why am I nervous? What the fuck happened? Hey, oh. Wait, turn up. Hold on. Wait, where's the where's the menu? Turn up. Turn up. Wow, what the fuck? Why is it why is the button so basty basy? POV, I'm just cat jamming. <laughs> <laughs> Literally the scariest place on earth. Alright, I'll fish. <gasps> Wait! Look! The MC looks so cute. <laughs> so cute. Wait, chat's covering her! No! Chat, no! Don't cover the pretty lady. Chat, don't cover the lady. No. I refuse. You're gonna merge into my... Pro... <laughs> into my promo box. I know, right? <laughs> Her personality is so so big. <laughs> this place is this place what? <laughs> I know this place is driving me crazy. I hadn't slept much for several days, and with a pair of big dark circles under my eyes, I want to go home, take a hot bath and eat what i want and play all the games i love she's so relatable her personality is so real oh my god that dress is cute i've never seen you wear that before i know right oh yeah it's for the christmas trip to japan i practically went into debt buying this new wardrobe <laughs> Why are you laughing? You're going into debt and you're laughing? This is this is Eliza to me when I'm uh <laughs> when I tell tell them how much I spent on each Sachi birch. <laughs> Alright. It's totally gonna be so fun. I can't wait. My boyfriend's coming too. But he wanted to fly on a separate plane or something, so he bought his own ticket. Uh, that is so strange. Uh, anyway, see you later. Excuse me? What does that mean? There's a B-plot. Why do we seem to live in a different world while working in the same studio? I'd also like to take a vacation if I could. Uh, indeed, I have not taken any leave for a long time or gone on any trip for a long time. I'm even thinking of just quitting my job. She's so relatable. I think it's her personality, guys. <laughs> Message notice. Boink! Who the fuck is Albert? Eliza Eliza <laughs> Ow What? Send help Albert <laughs> Send help Holy shit Albert Claus <laughs> 
He was my childhood friend. Although we haven't seen each other for a long time, we've kept in touch. We had, we both grew up in a place called Snowflake Island. <laughs> and Albert's family has managed Snowflake Island for generations. <gasps> Wait, he's so cute though. I made a cute snowman. Where? Show me, Albert. Where? Why didn't he show me? What the hell? Albert, how are you doing? Me. Well, it's still the same. Nothing special. But recently, I returned to... Snowflake Island. Huh? Really? Aren't you always out of town? Haha, <laughs> I'm a bit bored, so I'm back. What the fuck? And since my second brother is out of the country, I'm managing Snowflake Island for now. Oh my god. I haven't been back in a long time either. <laughs> Why don't I take a break too? I immediately wrapped up the work on my hands and asked my boss for leave of absence. I haven't had a vacation in three years, so I won't be turned down. But then... Hey. I know you've been really struggling at work and need a break. Hold on a minute. Give me a fucking minute. But as you probably know, many of your colleagues have already taken leave. So I hope, as a producer, you can hold on for just a little longer. I'll make it up to you, I swear. The company really needs you. Listen, I have a guy waiting for me back at Snowflake Island. I'm leaving. <laughs> You're kidding, right? I mean it. In fact, I just finished my writing, writing my notice. Sayonara. Sayonara. Hey, wait a minute. Ignoring my bo boss's shout, I returned to my seat to gather my things. Albert! I'm going back to Snowflake Island too. Hmm. <gasps> He's just like me for real. He just needs emotes. For real? I know, right? Aren't you busy at work? I decided to quit my job. I can't believe I haven't had a vacation in three years. I'm afraid I'll go crazy if I stay any longer. Wow. Am I dreaming? How are you? I can't wait to see you. You know what? I'm super, super, super happy. Oh. What? Let me ask Mr. Greg to prepare a helicopter for you to pick you up? Hmm? No! I'm already on the train. What? Damn it. I can't believe I didn't think of that. I should have chartered the train for to and from. Hey, don't waste your money like this. Why not? I could sp Shut up! And I'll pick you up at the train station later. Can't wait to meet you. <sighs> Sips water. Holy shit, this train is nice. I thought they were gonna show up inside the Polar Express. <laughs> <laughs> the scenery outside the window was so dreamy that I couldn't believe I had resigned. What a nice breeze. I regret I didn't let myself go on vacation earlier. I've been... I haven't been back for the... In... For... for, for huh? Okay. <laughs> what has become of Snowflake Island? I was... An orphan? 
Shit. I was originally an orphan dropped on the shores of Snowflake Island not long after I was born. That is like a red flag. Fortunately, a kind couple, my adoptive parents, took me home. They... Oh! They used to run a coffee shop on Snowflake Island, but unfortunately, they died in an accident when I was in elementary school. After that, I lived with my dis adoptive... What? Parents' relatives, but they suddenly disappeared while when I was in high school. At the end, I left Snowflake Island. <laughs> I hope things haven't changed after all these years. Why didn't I come back earlier? What do you, what do you mean? <laughs> There's still some time before the station. What should I do? Uh, save. I'm... Uh, gonna send a message to Albert. I haven't been back for a long time. It feels so unbelievable. Do you feel the same way? I guess. But I've been away for less time than you. So I feel okay. Speaking of which, why do you suddenly want to come back? Because of you! <gasps> so you miss me that much? Of course, we haven't seen each other for a long time. And I don't think there's anyone I know on Snowflake Island anymore. Never mind, you have me. That's enough. I will make a, a happy vacation, I promise. You don't need to do that. <laughs> Read the trains flyer. Is this a promotional leaflet for Snowflake Island? Let me take a look. Snowflake is uh, island is a small island in the north, owned by the Claus family, and everything on the island is managed by the Claus family. Snowflake Island is very welcoming to foreign visitors, and there are a variety of trans- I almost said transactions. Probably true. Attractions and facilities on the island. Be sure to come and see them. Next page. Snowflake Island's playground. The giant library on Snowflake Island. Claw's mansion on Snowflake Island, closed to the public for now. The shopping street on Snowflake Island. Next page. The urban legend. Who? I mean, I'm blocking. I'm body blocking this shit. Where's OBS? OBS, come up. The urban legend of Snowflake Island. The Christmas butcher who will appear on Christmas Eve. The urban legend that once terrified the residents of Snowflake Island. Legend has it that a mad killer butcher dressed in Christmas clothes appears to cut people down on Christmas night. Although it is unknown where the legend has been spread, since there was a murder on the island at Christmas, it isn't. Okay. There was a time when the islanders were afraid to even go out to celebrate Christmas. But that was a long time ago, and now it's just an urban legend used to scare children. Alright. Hmm. What the fuck? <laughs> I guess I'll- wait, give me a second. I guess I'll send a message to Albert. Oh, it's the same thing! Right, take a nap. I feel a little tired. Maybe I should take a nap. I've been waiting for you. Eliza, does the elf movie also go like this? Um, Shand help. Hold on. 
I see you. I see you. <laughs> Alistair and VC. Alone. Come here, my dear. <sighs> what? Wait! Bear! How do I turn? No! Go back! Go back! I want to see the bear! No! Holy shit. Finally! <laughs> it's like the same as before. I still love this place so much. Hey. Mm? That was... That was a very <laughs> interesting hey. <laughs> He hugged me tightly before I could see his face clearly. So good to see you. Hey, Albert. I haven't noticed it. I know. <laughs> He's grown so tall in the photo he sent me before. He's become so strong too. I miss you so much. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I pushed away. I pushed him away slightly. He looks even better. Girl, stop blushing. <laughs> claws, claws. Just in case he didn't know what his last name was. He looks even better than person. What's the matter? Didn't you miss me? It's not that. I'm just not used to seeing you like this. What? You're grown so tall. <laughs> you've grown and you've become a lot more well masculine <laughs> since the last time I saw you. Even more beautiful too. <laughs> I guess your sweet tongue hasn't changed much. I only do that with you. I don't believe your <laughs> ass for a single second. Sure. Give me your luggage. I'll carry it for you. No, it's heavy. That's all the more reason for me to take it. I'm not the same little brother I used to be. Look at that smile. There is murder behind that smile. I can I can feel it. Huh? Girl, what are you talking about? Girl. Yeah, he has an older brother. I assume they had like a sibling like relationship, maybe. Maybe she's a little older. We don't know. Girl, what are you talking about? Hog. Hog them. Listen, if I had a childhood friend like this, no one would see him. <laughs> That's not true. I would be bragging. We arrived at the entrance plaza of Snowflake Island. I mean, to be fair, if I had a... F if I had... A childhood friend who is very rich and his family owns an island. I would not be a streamer. <laughs> it wasn't too crowded, but we still saw a lot of tourists around. It's peak season for Snowflake Island. Shouldn't you be very busy as the temporary island master? But I cleared my schedule when I heard you were coming. What? <laughs> what about all the work? Well, most of it's done. What do you mean all of the dopio merch? I would still get it. <laughs> uh, 
Listen to me. That merch is important. <laughs> wait, hold on, I need to fucking kill me. Oh, wait, yeah, I would get a lot. Uh, a lot more. Well, not that much more, but like... Maybe a little bit more. Uh, ha! Ha! Yum, 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 yum. I mean, I still already have a lot. <laughs> Isn't that right, Peel Puppet? You can't see him, but I'm squeezing him right now. Ooh, His head is so squeezy. Okay. <laughs> and I got the rest of it all assigned to other people. You're amazing. Uh, Albert has been so good since the old days that not almost nothing can get in his way. We obviously haven't seen each other for so long, and he still made time for me. He's... He's the only person in the world who's been so good to me. Did you book a place to stay? Your old house isn't here anymore, you know. I know. I've already booked a room at a hotel. It's that one near the library. Uh, is that so? What? You should have asked me about it first. Well, you should have fucking offered first, bitch. <laughs> what? Why? Nothing. Uh, before you get settled, I want you to come with me somewhere. My bags, though, bro. I've got a surprise for you. Bro, my bags. Huh? Bro, my bags. I said, I don't know those kanji. They look familiar, though. I said, Nanda. <laughs> no! <laughs> no, I need those. My clothes. I'm like trying to adjust my <laughs> uh, uh, right, mouth, mouth. Okay. Although it's been a long time, I still know my island, my way around the island pretty well. Not to mention the place I used to come to most often. Alright, I know this road. You sure do. Do. Zella! The cafe in front of me is my adopted parents' cafe, and it's the same as before, as if it's always been open. What? Why? Wasn't it all abandoned on that day? I had it refurbished. Uh, luckily, there were still photos from when the place was still in business, so I tried to restore it to how it was before. Holy shit. Albert, you <laughs> just propose already, bro. I would have married him by now. Personally. <laughs> Personally, if it was me. <laughs> God, these visual novel characters are always so rich. God damn. <laughs> oh, the Christmas tree. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I miss this. Oh, flashback. Santa Cafe. Bang. Hey, what are you doing? Oh! Baby. Little baby man, <laughs> little baby man. <laughs> Wait, Dempsey he looks so cute too. Little baby, little baby. Ah, <laughs> oh, so he's the youngest son. Why is he crying? Real. What's wrong with you? Why'd you kick my Christmas tree? I hate Christmas. What the fuck? <laughs> Goddamn, he wasn't Santa Claus all along. He's the Grinch. Holy shit. What the fuck happened? 
When did you become the Santa? That doesn't mean you can kick someone else's stuff. I'm gonna tell my mom and dad. Mom? Dad? <laughs> Wait, why is he crying? This is he parentless? Bang. Ah! Stop it! Stop! Bang. But what is wrong with this kid? I pushed him to the ground and order. I pushed him. I pushed him to make him stop. That's enough. <laughs> Why are you crying? You're kicking my Christmas tree, you bitches. <laughs> Girl. I remember that children are very mean. I'm sorry, does it hurt? I'm sorry, I was just trying to stop you. <laughs> okay, bitch ass tree kicker. Oh my god, I made it even worse. Um, uh, how about I make you some hot chocolate? Damn, this kid is so easily bribed. He probably got kidnapped a bunch for being a rich kid. I hope it's okay. It's the only drink I know how to make. Come on, give me your hand. But don't tell my mom and dad. The next day. Ding dong. I know, right? Real. I'm gonna go open the door. Huh? Why are you here again? Here you go. Huh? For the hot chocolate. The boy handed me the money without saying a word. He's so rich. I don't need it. <laughs> Just go. My mom's watching. Didn't I say not to tell my mom and dad? Then they'll know. Ignored me, slipped me the money, and walked into the shop. Hey! I have a name, by the way. It's Albert. What's your name? Alec. I like that name. You would say that, wouldn't you? Here, drink your hot chocolate. That's how Albert came to the cafe every day and asked me to make hot chocolate for him. <laughs> and that's how we became friends. He became cheerful, too. What are you thinking about? I was just remembering how we met. Don't even think about that. I don't want you to remember me that way. Why? You were so cute. Especially that little face you made when you cried. No. Wait. Cry again. I'll change my mind, maybe. No. <laughs> Do you still hate Christmas as much as you used to? Well... Christmas with you isn't the <laughs> I'm trying, L. <laughs> <laughs> At least I've got that. How about you? Do you still like Christmas? Hmm, I don't know. I guess I've been too busy to celebrate these days. I'm only in like the first little few minutes of the game. I'm sorry. I hope it's a bit different this year. Anyways, why did you renovate the cafe? You've always talked about inheriting the cafe someday. Even though you left Snowflake Island, I figured you might come back one day. I wanted to make sure the cafe was in good hands until then. Do you like it? My mind went blank. I've just left the hell of my work for many years. Wait, I we just skipped that. And it's like a dream. I never thought Albert had prepared me for this. <laughs> huh? Are you crying? Why are you crying? <laughs> no, I'm. <laughs> I was laughing at you being such a crybaby. I guess the baby cried too. My stress burst like a balloon, and tears instantly flooded my eyes. Oh, are you alright? Don't like it? I 
hope I didn't bring back a bad memory or something. I, I swear I didn't mean to. No, <laughs> I'm happy. Oh, <laughs> you know, I've been so stressed lately. I haven't had vacation in a while. I never get enough sleep. The fact that someone thought so much about me, it just made me cry. <laughs> At seeing the cafe after a long time. I've been thinking about it a lot. I should have come back earlier. I thought no one in the world cared about me anymore. Thank you, Albert. I'm glad you're here for me. Think nothing of it. I love you. He's gonna get um little brother zoned or something. And I'm glad you quit your job. Because now you can inherit the shop. Wait, but what about the people who's currently running it, Albert? Have you thought about that part? Come on now. No crying. <laughs> Albert, no! The person who's currently running the shop He touched my head. So will you inherit the shop? I'll have to think about it. I know it's what I've always wanted, and I love that you did all this for me. But I just need to think about it. Of course. Get some rest and enjoy your vacation first. You have plenty of time to think it over. No hurry. Thank you, Albert. Come on. Let's go to your hotel. <laughs> what? It's all full? I'm sorry, ma'am, but there's nothing I can do. I don't believe you. But I thought there were still a few rooms left when I booked. I'm awfully sorry, but the website must not have updated in time. Try checking in again later. Once again, I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Well... I guess that's the end of that. Sorry. I should have ordered a room for you ahead of time. No, it's not your fault. But I do still need a place to stay. Well, if you're okay with it, you could stay at my place? You know, it's a huge house. There's tons of room. Or maybe a share a basement, more like, I think. Would that really be okay? I know, right? Of course. You could stay however long you want. Nothing overnight. Whatever you say. Come on. Let's go home. Albert! At that moment, I completely missed- Oh, shit. I completely missed the eye contact between Albert and the hotel staff. I had forgotten that he had a whole hotel floor for himself. <laughs> I don't know. I'm back, young master. Welcome back, Greg. <laughs> Miss, welcome to you as well. <laughs> Mr. Craig, hello. It's been a long time. It's great to see you look as healthy as ever. Thank you, Miss. Craig, she'll be staying with us for the night. Get her room ready. As ordered. Greg sounds more like Santa Claus than Albert does. Are you sure it's not too much trouble for you? Of course not. In fact, I'd love it if you relied on me more. Like the old days. Albert. All right. It's getting late. You must be tired. Hurry up and get some rest in your room. We'll have dinner later. What emoji do you think this is? <laughs> I think it's the chicken, uh, the roasted chicken one. <laughs> Thanks. After dinner at Albert's house, we slept in our respective rooms. Whoa, the bed is enormous. 
Your room is so big. And the balcony so luxurious. I came here to play when I was a kid, but I still think his house is over the top. I remember the forest outside, and now it's all covered in snow. It's chilly, I should close the window. Footsteps. Hmm? Is there anyone out there this late? Um. A sense of unease washed over me, and I knew the footsteps were coming from the balcony. I quietly opened the cloth curtain, afraid something might appear from the balcony. It's okay. This balcony door is closed tight. However, when I opened the balcony, nothing appeared outside. Why did you open the balcony? You should have just looked. I couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. Could it just be some wild animals? Girl, you can hear that from here? Girl, you're on like that top floor. Just as I was about to cl close the cloth curtain, there was something concerning in the snow. It's a Christmas hat. There were also some messy footprints on the ground. Oh, I would think it was Santa Claus like the other kids if it was just a regular place. But this is Snowflake Island. I first thought of the urban legend circulating on Snowflake Island of the Christmas butcher that appears every Christmas month. No way, it's just an urban legend. And what's going on here? Either way, that hat and footprints look suspicious. However, there's a voice inside my head. Go on, follow it. No, no way. Knock, knock. Are you asleep? What the fuck? Albert, why did you say it like that? Uh. I closed the curtain and dashed the door of my room. As soon as I opened the door, I saw a re reassuring face. Robert! Is your face so pale? Did something happen? I told Albert about what just happened, but when we opened the curtain again, it's snowing, girl. That's how it works. <laughs> Maybe he's just cold, Al. Don't judge him. We might be in the South Pole. Or, the, wait, the North Pole. <laughs> the hat and the footprints had disappeared. Huh? Where did it go? Is your brain seeing things again? Uh, maybe. No, I just saw it. It was real. Worse than I thought. What? Come with me. Albert walked out of the room, holding my hand. What? Oh my god, CG. Here, here you go. <gasps> it's so cute! I wish I could turn off the speech bubble. Oh, well, we can just look at it later. Hot chocolate. It's not as good as when you used to make it, but... <laughs> I took the mug, and the warmth of the hot chocolate milk reassured me. It tastes good. Really? I'm glad to hear that. You feel better? Yeah, I feel a lot better now. Maybe you're right. Maybe the stress is just getting to my head. Poor baby. You're so exhausted. Don't call me baby. I assume this means he was trying to pat my head. <laughs> this really is just like back then. Time is I know, much, right? Has it? I saw things before. I'm getting gaslit too. You said you saw Santa hats, blood, and Santa Claus with a knife. And that was on the nights when you didn't have bad dreams. Really? I have had strange visions from time to time after the accidental death of my adoptive parents and disappearance of my relatives. It's especially bad in the Christmas months. 
After leaving Snowflake Island and leading a busy life, I gradually forgot about it. True, Elder. Uh, oh my god, at least you didn't call me Baby Goral. <laughs> Actually, I thought you would never come back to Snowflake Island. What happened to your adoptive parents? I thought it would hurt you too much to see this place again. Elder. His na last name is Claus. Allegedly, he is Santa Claus. Maybe. When you first showed up, I thought maybe it was just my imagination. But I must have been right. Allegedly. he When he was a, a young, though, he hated Christmas, so we're not sure. Albert. Either way, I'm not about to let you hate this place. From now on... Only remember the good things that happened on Snowflake Island. <laughs> this is what they call Tumblr. <laughs> Euphemisms for Tumblr. <laughs> As the temporary master, I'll gladly help you in any way. His family owns the island as well. He's very rich. There's no way you can really help me. I miss them so much. I just want them back. I'm scared, Albert. But you, you're still by my side. Even though I'm an emotional mess. Why do you care about me so much? Oh, here I go again. <laughs> I probably look stupid, right? You're so silly. Oh my god, he called me silly, guys. <laughs> mm -hmm. I am phasing into the fucking abyss. Abyss. I got a forehead kiss. Wait. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna be covering part of the text now. <laughs> kiss. He got me a kiss. What the hell did uh, was L talking about? What the hell? Oh, he's Santa. Santa care. Okay, I didn't see that part. Still the same. Inside, you're still the same kind, gentle girl. Kind? Rely on me as much as you want. There's a bug in front of my screen. No, 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 no. You're the most important person to me. I didn't know what this kiss meant. And I closed my eyes sheepishly. What? Now that you're back, I've got to get this place in order. No! These monitors were $200. I'm gonna krill myself before I punch them, okay? I'll make sure you have a comfortable stay here. No more sad things, okay? Come on. Don't worry about me, Albert. I'm fine. It's my job. I'm the owner of this island. I noticed his eyes were slightly different than usual. What does this mean? Alright, you should go to sleep. Well, I guess I am a little tired. Do you want me to carry you to bed? Don't tempt me. No need. <laughs> okay. Good night. Good night, Albert. <laughs> it's so funny that there's no space for my name. What the fuck? Gotta get busy tomorrow. Um. Hmm. Um, hmm. <laughs> um, busy. What does that mean? Did you sleep well last night? I slept pretty good after talking to you. <laughs> oh, really? Then why don't we sleep together tonight? <laughs> this man needs to be taken down a notch. He's getting too fucking bald. I could talk to you all night. 
<laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> you look so cute when you blush. Says you, you're blushing half the time that we talk, you bitch. I know, right? He's moving so quickly. I'm just kidding. Ah, that phone ringing. Oops. I've gotta go. Listen, he already did a slow burn. They're childhood friends. Where to? I've gotta get some work done. I'll meet back up with you as soon as I can. Why don't you take a walk around the island? Take the whole place back in. But don't have too much fun. Okay. Oh, yeah. What? Goodbye, hug. Okay. Ah. Bye. -bye. Aww. We were childhood friends, but our distance became strange after he returned. Is it just me, or have I not seen him for too long? I'm afraid I'll have the other thoughts. Girl, come on, just have it. Now, let's not think too much about it. I need some fresh air now. Where to go? To Girl, <laughs> it's Christmas! Alright. Wait, I'm gonna show Elder the, 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 but she, geez. he gave big hug, big hug, and you saw this one. <laughs> I am going to visit my adoptive parents. I bought some hydrangeas they liked from a nearby florist. Oh, puppies. Huh? The headstones are rarely, are barely dusty. Is someone cleaning them regularly? Someone's face comes to mind. I placed the flowers I was holding on my adoptive parents' graves. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. How have you been? I'm sorry I haven't come to see you in such a long time. I hope both of you are doing okay. I brought your f favorite flowers, Mom. Hydrangeas. You always used to put them up around the cafe. I quit my job. It's really not easy living in the city. It's nice to be home. But it's just different. Now that you're gone. Why did it flash like I was about to get kidnapped? <laughs> One Christmas. That night, my adoptive parents and I were on our way to celebrate Christmas. Daddy, no. <laughs> Come on, Dad. Can't you tell me what you're getting me for Christmas? <laughs> hey, hey, it's a secret. But I want to know, <laughs> please, mom. No, honey, it's a surprise. By the way, is your little boyfriend coming tonight? Damn, my the parents were shippers. God damn it. She's been obsessed with that little claws boy. It's all we hear about. <laughs> He's not my boyfriend. <laughs> I'm serious. He isn't. Ah, my doll. Be up, up and no. <laughs> that then my doll fell out. Can you stop the car? Be up, 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 he's fucking dead. Hey, don't walk out on your own. Ah, here it is. Mom, dad, I got it. Oh shit. This is so circumstantial. What the fuck? As I turned my head with the doll, an out-of-control car behind me suddenly crashed into our car. Dad? Mom? I approached the car, the two calling my name a second before it didn't move a muscle. I tried to wake them up until the ambulance came. Thank God it didn't flip then. Goddamn, I hope those parents are living a good life. <laughs> But they never responded to me again. 
That's how I watched my adoptive parents die in front of me. Sounds like at least they died on impact. <laughs> oh, that's the girl, isn't it? Mr. and Mrs. Huss's adopted daughter. That feels insulting somehow. Isn't it kind of suspicious how she was the only one who survived? I mean, she never even got hurt. I don't see a single tear on her face. That's just ominous. You could never convince me to adopt a little creep like her. My son goes to the same school as her. He told me. I know! Hasn't anyone ever taught you not to gossip at someone's funeral? Albert, Albert, you're so punky. What happened? You're so soft now. I know, right? What? Whose kid is this? I ought to teach you a lesson myself. Careful. He's from the Claus family. Uh, sorry. Some people. He's so punk rock. The woman who had been talking so much immediately bowed their heads and dared not to speak. Albert walked right up to the stone chair without even looking at them. Hey. I guess that means tomb. Albert. I looked at him and wanted to thank him for speaking out for me, but I couldn't speak a word. He sat beside me. Would you like some hot chocolate? He pulled a cup. Albert, what? <laughs> this is my first time making it, so I hope it's good. I took a sip. A wave of warmth entered my body, awakening it in an instant. I cried again. Greg, give me the umbrella and leave us alone. Young master, you'll catch a cold if you sit out here too long. I know, right? I don't care. Greg is MVP. See? My fave is Greg so far. I have to stay here with her. I see. We'll be waiting for you in the car. I can't believe my parents died because they dropped my P.O. puppy. <laughs> <laughs> I was drinking hot chocolate and crying. I don't know how long I cried, except that the funeral guests had all left. But Albert was still sitting beside me. He kept holding my cold hand. I still remember what he said. Please don't cry. It's Christmas. I know. Be a puppy. <laughs> this is your favorite holiday, and you deserve to be smiling. I'll always be here for you. Why is the memory so vivid after coming to Snowflake Island? That's why I've been afraid to come back. I forget something very important too. But I know once I remember, I can't go back. <laughs> Alec. Me. Albert, aren't you busy at work? <laughs> Ash Ketchum, I can't believe. Can't believe Ash Ketchum used to. Is it? I yonder it for me. Are you crying? Hmm? What are you talking about? I'm not a crybaby. Liar. Ah! What the fuck? Listen, if it wasn't so smooth, I would have po pointed out that you're a stalker. Which is probably true, considering the theme of the game. <laughs> Real white man jumps. <laughs> no. Look who's crying again. What are you doing here? Greg told me that you asked him where you could get hydrangeas on the island. It didn't take much else to figure out you'd be here. I hope the P.O. Puppet I dropped is okay. <laughs> I placed the hydrangea in front of the grave. It's been a long time, Mrs. Huss and Mr. Huss. 
Why am I still slightly offended about that last name? It doesn't feel right. Shouldn't you be working? You're the one who came down here without telling me. Don't you think they want to talk to their future son-in-law? What the fuck? Son-in-law? Shinchen, how have I been planning to marry you? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Albert reached out to wipe away my tears. I just came here to make sure you don't cry alone. I know, right? I was like, I don't know about this one. <laughs> I'll keep you company. I just came here to oh, shit. keep you company. <laughs> we'll face whatever it is you're facing together. Take your time. My heart beats uncontrollably. Why is he always so gentle with me? This just keeps happening again and again, doesn't it? Uh huh. I'm glad you still remember some things. The hot chocolate you made back then was so bad, it's impossible to forget. Ouch! You've definitely improved. Well, why don't you inherit the cafe? And everyone can taste your hot chocolate. Are you gonna let me do that? Or just marry me and fill me full of hot chocolate every day. That's what they said. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> Albert, we're at a cemetery. Well, I'm not joking. Albert went back and oh my god, my hair's in a tangle. What the fuck? Hold on, guys. I have to sort this out. It's bothering me. The back of my head is tangled. What the fuck? Not in a good way, too. He didn't really need to come. <laughs> After film me full of hot chocolate, that's a bit... Ooh. <laughs> a good, interesting choice of wording. Yeah. Although I am a little happy. Thanks to him, I'm not drowning in sad memories. There's still time. Where should I go? Well, I don't have a choice. To the shopping street. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm in, not in the Discord call. Wait, actually, maybe? Hold on. No, I don't have it. Ah! Hold on. I need to turn this. Uh, I need to turn on Discord. Discard! Alright. There should not be any Fugerts. Alright. <laughs> Where was it? Where's the log? Where's the log? <laughs> Which one is it? <laughs> I know. <laughs> he didn't really need to come. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Why was there a heartbeat at the end? Oh, shit. I'm super loud. Give me a moment. Alright. Uh... I need to turn down my sound. Ah. Ah. Alright. One of them is even kind of- the, <laughs> They're even kind of P.O. colored. <laughs> Most of the shops are still in sta intact except for the newly registered shops. That's great. It's the same as before. <laughs> cool, fresh, eight store, Hachi. 
Oh. It's the ma, anata no what? Oh, fuck. What? What is that kanji? Fuck, my greatest weakness, kanji. Cool, fresh. <laughs> no way. Not the hachichiki. I walked into the grocery store. I don't know about grocery store, girl. I used to go when I was a kid to buy coffee beans for my parents. Mrs. Moon is still- is Mrs. Moon still here? Welcome! Oh, look who it is. Mrs. Moon! It's been a long time. You've grown up so much. And you're still as young as ever. <laughs> You are so sweet. Is your city life going well? Uh, I just quit my job. This city life doesn't really suit me. So you're coming back to run the cafe. How did you know? Oh, no, <laughs> I guess. After all, when you were a kid, you always said you wanted to run a cafe like your parents. Oh. By the way, Mrs. Moon, have you heard from my aunt and uncle? <laughs> a few years ago, they suddenly disappeared and I thought they'd gone into the city. But the entire time I was there, I never saw them anywhere. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Why do you bother trying to find them? Why is she so like slay? I mean, they practically abandoned you. I know, but they're my adopted relatives. My only relatives. Anyways, have you heard anything about them? Hmm. I don't think so. Why is she acting a little weird? She's got that twinkle in her eye. But don't worry about it. Just forget about them for now, okay? If you say so... I need to pick up my son from school. Do you mind if we get back to this later? Oh, and if you decide to inherit the cafe, I promise I'll stop by every day. Alright, see you later, Mrs. Moon. I stepped out of the grocery stall or store, puzzled by Mrs. Moon's reaction. Why is she acting like she knew I was coming back? She gets flustered when I th talk about my aunt and uncle. What is going on? There's still time. Where should I go? Well, I don't have a choice. <laughs> to the school. It's been a while since I've been back. Let's visit my alma mater. Whoa. This is a pretty big school for an island. It was about time for the students to leave. As Christmas break is approaching, students are excitedly discussing their holiday plans. <laughs> they look happy. I used to go to the same school as Albert and he used to hang around me after school. Since my aunt and uncle who care for me don't like me very much, I go to Albert's house after school to do my homework and play games to avoid them. It wasn't until one day when my aunt and uncle suddenly disappeared that I decided to stay and live in the city. And Albert went to study abroad. In that case, uh, we spent almost daily together on the island. Oh, silly girl flashback. Hmm? <laughs> Why am I suddenly remembering what happened last night? I stood there, like a red, f uh, full, like a full, red-faced. Oh. What the fuck? Why is her name Sharon? Huh? Someone stu stood before me. They sure are. It's my old classmate, Sharon. Sharon? It's been a long time. When did you get back? I just got back yesterday. I didn't even know you were a teacher here. Yep. I 
haven't seen you in forever. You've gotten prettier. The city did wonders for you. And you're as cute as ever. By the way, are you and Paul still seeing each other? Paul? Oh, yeah. You don't know. I broke up with him. I don't even know where he is now. Oh, sorry. It's fine. Hey, are you free tomorrow night? Maybe we could catch up with some old classmates of Oh, you think they'd want to? Of course! Everyone's been dying to see you! <laughs> really? Well, yeah. Great! I'll see you tomorrow night then. I'll send you a message with the address when I get home. Okay, see you then. <laughs> I'm so happy that someone still remembers me after so many years away. It's good to be back. Why was that not sus to her? Maybe I should ask Albert too. He used to go to the same school. Back. Ah, you don't need to hug me every time we see each other. Ah! Welcome back. <laughs> My heart is beating too fast. Sorry. You don't sound sorry. Albert let go in disappointment, and I could see his dog ears droop. No, not the dog ears! He looks like a big puppy. Oh, uh, anyway, guess who I, I met at school today? I was so excited to tell Albert about my day. I thought he would smile and be happy for me like usual. But as soon as he finished listening, he gave a stony expression. Don't go. What? Um. Albert? Huh? I said don't go to that classmate get together. Why? You cannot just demand things. Why not? I haven't seen Sharon and everyone in this years. I don't want you to go. They're not nice people. Since when have you been in charge of what I do? They're my friends and I'm going to see them. No. And how do you know about all this anyway? I didn't say that. Am I not good enough for you? Oh no. <laughs> it's starting. <laughs> I would say, oh no, actually, it's oh yes. <laughs> what? Sometimes I just want to lock you up. Albert? He approached me with a different aura. I could keep you there forever and I'd be the only one with the key. This is giving amnesia, Toma. <laughs> yeah. No one would find you. And then, you'd be all mine. <laughs> He held out his hand to me. Hold on. Save. Save. Give me a second. Listen. Since it's me. <laughs> I stood still and looked at Albert. He touched my face with his cold hand. Is it making you uncomfortable that I call him Al Albert? <laughs> Yo. I'll only be gone for a few hours, Albert. I'm not abandoning you. <laughs> you should recommend this um, game to the VT Sum server just because he's called Albert. Why is he giving me a sad face? Why won't you listen to me? Wait, Lucky, this girl and I have similar eye colors. Bit worried. <laughs> Wait, what did it say? Shit. Why the hand that on <laughs> okay, the hand that had been on my face gripped my chin. Shut up. <laughs> Maybe it's pre-dyed hair. You don't know that. What is your deal? Don't you understand? All right. Okay. Come on. Who cares about you? <laughs> that hurts! Albert! Uh, 
You're so cute. <laughs> sir! <laughs> sir, hold on. Back up. Hold on. Jesus Christ. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Listen, stop calling him cringe. He's funny. <laughs> Don't call him cringe. It's funny. <laughs> know something i think i'm going crazy <laughs> i think i'm gonna go i think someone else in my chat is going crazy <laughs> from cringe <laughs> i grabbed albert's hand and tried to <laughs> pull him i tried to i tried to pull it off i guess <laughs> going you are whatever you want i don't <laughs> Listen, he's just a little boy. He's just a little guy. <laughs> no, not Mr. Cringe. Oh shit, I'm peeking so hard. I'm gonna turn my microphone down. I'm gonna keep laughing. <laughs> He loosened his hand and gave a smirking expression, but... I'll be waiting for you. You don't sound sure that you're gonna wait for me, Albert. Are you okay? Just don't stay out too late. It's tomorrow, Albert. Chill. Have fun tomorrow. Albert, there's still an entire day. Fucking calm down. Good night. I heard my Discord beep. Who is beeping at me? Oh, it's uh, <laughs> it's the Discord server. <laughs> Eliza. <laughs> I see everything. Good night. <laughs> okay, good night, bitch. Good night. Back to the usual Albert. What the hell just happened to him? Why doesn't he like the old classmates? What happened between them? I want to see the CG. Move. I want to see. Yo. Wait, this is so cute. Oh! Okay, maybe we shouldn't keep that up for too long. Oh! Yeah, I get where you're coming from. The next day, Albert woke up and ate breakfast with me as if nothing had happened. Then he went to work alone again. 7 p- Okay, we're just skipping the day, eh? I followed the address Sharon gave me and arrived at the restaurant. This looks like a bar! Hey! This way! Sharon, didn't- Why didn't you get changed, girl? Like- I know, right? <clears throat> Sharon waved warmly at me as soon as she saw me, and some familiar faces were sitting next to me. In fact, I've been concerned about Albert's words since yesterday, fearing that there might be da some danger, as he said. But I was relieved to see they were all old classmates I knew. <sighs> He's just a bit too worried. How's life in the city been? Yes! Come on, we've been dying to hear from you! <laughs> okay, okay. I'll tell you all about it. it. Was like going back to school. Damn, this girl's popular. What the fuck happened?
I didn't notice how Sharon looked at me. I totally thought you guys had forgotten all about me. I can't thank you enough for asking me out to dinner. How could we forget about you? You were our best friend. Of course! We all missed you so much when you left. It's impossible to forget someone like you. Sharon is not saying very oof things. That tone is not... Uh, what? I know. Um... Why can't... Oh, no. Why can't I see well all of a sudden? My head is heavy. Uh, why is everyone looking at me? Who are those boys coming in outside? Bonk. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, but what we heard Albert in the basement. What is going on? I don't need to save. Water dripping. It's the prologue. It's cold. Where am I? Good morning. What? Sharon? I slowly opened my eyes and shot sha sha la la. Saw Sharon sitting not too far away. Where am I? I was awakened by the surroundings. It was a basement-like room without a window. With only an interminately flickering light bulb. Well, you could just said flickering. Flickering light bulb hanging in the middle. Why am I here? I, I can't move. What? <laughs> I realized that my limbs are tired. What's happening? Sharon, what's going on? Oh, you're still naive as ever. Did she do this? Are oh, two big men. Two big men. Where is everyone else? They all went home. You didn't really think that any of our old classmates actually liked you. Right? Why is Albert right? But we were having a good time. I remember. <laughs> oh, I'm laughing my ass She's LMAOing. did a pretty convincing job. Of course, I did have to pay them to pull it off. I am in a state of confusion. Me too, girl. Why are you doing this? Revenge, of course. Revenge? You know it's your fault that Paul walked away from me. He was everything. I was totally ruined. How is that my fault? I don't even fucking know fa Paul. Paul who, bitch? Didn't you say you broke up with him? <laughs> What? Shut up! Paul was kicked off this fucking island back when you pulled your little Oh no, he's bullying me stunt. Oh, we know he's dead. And it's not just Paul. It's a lot of people. Anyone who even comes near you gets screwed over in the end. Wait, wait a minute. What are you talking about? I don't even remember being bullied. <laughs> Damned guardian knight, Albert Claus. Did you just... Albert? You were just a poor orphan. But then, you got knocked up by Claus's little son, and now you act like you're the fucking queen. What? Is that how you've always seen me? <laughs> Is that really a question? The fact that you think... Anyone would want to be friends with you is amazing. Everyone at school knew that you were the only one who survived that traffic accident. Even your parents couldn't survive the curse. You're like the plague. You spread and infect everyone. So now, I'm doing the heroic thing and stopping it. You're insane! No, I'm brave. I'm the one who 
finally standing up to you. You've infected Albert too. The town saw how he changed when he met you. Uh, uh. Give me a second. This is like, um, I have to change models for this. Like, this is not giving me the right amount of expression. <laughs> Of the shock that I'm feeling, good God. <laughs> Alright. I'm on my way. Hey. I just tried to double click. Wow. Alright. Holy shit, guys. What the fuck? <laughs> mm -hmm. even worse when you left you got him addicted to you that's not my fault people are dying people are dying all because of you do you know how scared we all are that fucking move every time she said that it was like a pinprick in my heart I never knew I was so hated by other people. You're not a hero, Sharon. <laughs> Real. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! No. You're doing a terrible thing, Sharon. Stop trying to justify yourself. It's one thing to have had no empathy for me when I lost my parents, but to look down on me and hate me, that's another. Wait, girl, what the fuck are you talking about? What? You're demented! Wait. Oh, she's still in the denial stage. He just refused to admit that me and Albert are the good ones. He's the only one who defended me. Oh wait, she's cursing now. What the fuck? So you better not fucking insult him. Don't insult him? Do you have any idea how horrible of a person he is? Or your fucking proof, girl? He's just like you. But I know how to keep you both from hurting anyone else. Dying? What it feels like to lose someone he loves too. The two big men behind Sharon <laughs> nodded silently, then came towards me. No! Get away from me! Damn, the rope is too tight. <laughs> Come on, someone, help me! I closed my eyes in fear as I watched the two big men prepare to remove- Oh no! Oh no, I need to put up a warning that I forgot to put up. 
Oh wait, actually I already did. Thank fuck. Uh, no, actually, it should be fine. Girl, I don't know either. <laughs> don't! Bonk. Smack. Huh? I can see the two big <laughs> It's so funny that they keep being described as two big men. <laughs> no! Ah, uh, holy shit. Not the two big men. They were just doing their jobs. <laughs> and passed out. Oh, holy- oh, fuck. Well, looks like I got here just in time. No! <laughs> Albert, stop it. Stop it. Albert, no! <laughs> Albert, no, I'm into punks. Fuck. Rib. <clears throat> the man in front of me made me feel more at ease. Albert! <laughs> now you know I was right, don't you? I nodded desperately and wept unconsciously because I was so relieved. Sharon Murga. Nice to see you. Still fucking up people's lives today? Alright. Albert pulled up a spike bat from nowhere and puts it against Sharon's neck. Shut up. Um. Before I kill you, I have a question. You don't seem to understand the definition of bullying. Putting trash in other people's lockers, writing insulting sentences on other people's desks, and ruining other people's gym clothes and textbooks is what you would call a little bit of bullying, right? What's he talking about? Why didn't I notice anything? <clears throat> then I remembered that my locker and table were always suddenly cleaned. And I blamed Albert for wiping off my lockers treasured stickers so he's been hiding these things from me what's your point I don't have a problem with bullying what I have a problem with is your beloved Paul trying to drop a potted plant on her head a what Yeah, okay. You know what? Albert is very reasonable. Sharon! I see why you like him! What the fuck, though? <gasps> he was a little brat. You should thank me for curing the community of him. But instead, you're trying to get revenge on me. You've even kidnapped an innocent girl. You're really messed up, you know that? <laughs> Anyways, now it's just you and me. And me, Albert. Actually, I'm right here, please. <clears throat> Albert gave a horrible look I'd never seen before, and I should have stopped him, but I didn't open my mouth. <laughs> Do I really have no way to deal with you? I feel the sound of running coming from behind me and immediately reacted. Albert, watch out! I moved my body hard to knock 
Albert off his feet, but it was still too late. <laughs> the man in the back stabbed Albert. No! Albert! No! No! Albert! Albert sat on the floor in pain. The rope. Oh, wait, what the fuck? How did you do that? Girl, you just said it was tight. No, there were three big men. What the fuck? Where's my PN? PN. Ah! No, not that kind. Oh. Where's the PN? One. No! There were three big men. <laughs> No! 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 It hurts. Oh no! You can't hurt him. <laughs> I finally managed to hurt you! Oh. I looked at the w on his back. Oh, right. <clears throat> oh yeah, there is really a red filter over our eyes now, right now, girl. They did this to him. I'm okay. Don't worry. Go ahead and think you're a hero. Either way, I'm gonna send you both to hell! Oh. I like. Uh. 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 I can don't have filter for that. I can't do that. Oh, the, sorry, not that one. <laughs> what? With her red eyes, the woman named Alec deflected the man's attack with her bat without saying a word. Sharon, girl, you better run. <clears throat> she hit the big man <laughs> desperately with the strength. Not... Uh, what what is commensurate? I don't want to know what that means. I guess not measure, not compatible with her fucking body or whatever. Ooh, don't hurt him! 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 Like a cyborg, she said repetitive words while attacking without stopping. She then hit the two men knocked unconscious at the beginning. Several people's blood splattered on Alec, and she was covered in it, just like the butcher. Shit! Get off of me! What's wrong with you? Get away from me! I was the- well, that's not wrong, but... Yeah. As Sharon prepares to attack the wounded Albert. <laughs> oh, yippee! I run like the wind and knock Sharon away. Don't hurt him. 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 She kept hitting. If I had a soundboard, I would loop that if I could, but I don't have one. And didn't stop even though she begged for mercy. She's really good at this. I I love the voice acting for. Her. Ah, damn, that's a big word. Too big for me. Um. <laughs> I know, right? She's so good at this. Goddamn, Sharon, like teach me your ways. Alec ignored her and was ready to keep fighting. <gasps> a needle stabbed 
Alec in the neck, causing Alec to stop instantly. All right, that's enough. Good girl, go to sleep now. <laughs> they keep saying, I know, right? <laughs> it does feel like it. <laughs> I <laughs> I feel like they've just been saying like buzzwords trying to get the Vox Akuma that's my girl effect <laughs> oh, oh my blood it, it really worked what it might be better to kiss you directly next time what Am I a vampire? We went from... Fuck, I forgot what Tomoya's one is called. This is the reference all the elders gonna get. <laughs> we went from... Tomoe... <laughs> to like... Maybe, um, intertwined? And I don't know where we are. <laughs> Albert pulls the syringe out and lets Alec fall into his arms. You were worried about me, weren't you? Wait, what the fuck? What? Huh? Huh? <laughs> this proves that I'm the most important person to you. I mean, you are the literally the only person in my life, so like... Uh, luckily, I've been working on this. We need to go to the hospital. So Stop to monologuing. Me. We need to go to the hospital. Stop monologuing. I can still carry you to bed easily. Don't worry, I'll take care of you, just like I always have. Albert, we need to go to the hospital. Stop fucking monologuing. Okay, we went to the hospital. Let's fucking go. <clears throat> Morning. Ah. The sun is so bright outside. I opened my eyes and tried to get up from the bed, but the muscles in my body hurt like hell. What the? Are you awake? Oh, Albert was sleeping on the edge of the bed, holding my hand the whole time. Where am I? Looking at the tape of on his face, the events of last night played out in my head like a... <laughs> my memory is still blurred, but the image of Albert being wounded is the only one that is very clear. Bam. I immediately hugged the man before me. Fearing he was just a hallucination on my part. Albert. <coughs> I'm coughing because I'm trying to sound like I'm crying, but it's not working. <laughs> oh, thank God. Ah, careful! My back! <laughs> Sorry. How are you still alive? I thought you were dead. <laughs> Calm down. I'm stronger than you think. But you were stabbed! It was just a scratch. It is but a flesh wound. No, Albert! No, I saw! I'm fine. But now that my handsome face is Where? Scarred, Where the fuck is the scar, bitch? The same? Where is it? I can't see it. Where is it? Yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You're still handsome. Hmm? What the fuck? Never mind. What happened after I passed out? I don't remember anything. He's been taking advantage of this, I think, maybe. Not at all. How did we get out of there? I just stood up and fought back. You idiot. 
Why didn't you just run away when you got hurt? Because they didn't just hurt me, they hurt my baby. Don't call me your baby. It makes me sound like I'm a fucking child. Baby? You had a child? <laughs> Forget it. What happened afterward? What did they do to you? How could they do anything to me? I was trained for stuff just like this as a child. What? All oh, right, cuz he's rich and he probably got kidnapped. Yeah. I knocked them out and handed them over to the police. I don't believe you. Thank God you weren't injured again. I breathed a sigh of relief, but immediately felt self-conscious. I can't believe I trusted her of all people. You were right. I should have listened to you. I'm just so sorry. This is all my fault. How could it be your fault? That bitch crossed the line. <clears throat> my heart vaguely tingles when I think about what Sharon said to me last night. What? Uh, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. I never knew someone could hate me as someone else. What? I never knew someone could hate someone else as much as she did. I mean, she was willing to kill me. And even you, if it meant she could get her way. <laughs> Hey, Albert, am I a terrible person? Is that why she hates me? Of course not. Don't you even think that. You are the most gentle and kind person I have That's ever met. That's not what the bat said last night. Even if you're a little naive, that just makes you cuter. Don't you dare start acting like what she said was true. She's just jealous of you. Humans are so ugly. Then what the fuck are you? Except me. Why did he kind of bark? Hold on, can I play that again? Can I play that again? Oh! oh. <laughs> Wait, how do I go back? How do I- Even if you're a little naive, that just makes you cuter. Don't you dare start acting like what she's- She's just jealous of- ah. Except me. <laughs> Back. <laughs> no way. Albert. I forgot everything that happened here after my parents died. Why didn't you tell me what happened before? I don't want you to get hurt. Nobody said. Oh, sorry. Hold on. The music is distracting. Nobody said that's your job. I had a right to know. I don't care if it's my job. The only thing I care about is your feelings. Well, if you care about my feelings, you would tell me everything, bitch. I just want you to smile at me. Tell me everything. Stop gaslighting me. He said with a relaxed look as if a... Uh, what? Okay. Besides, as a member of the Claws family... It would be a dishonor if I couldn't even protect the people beside me. But why? Why me? Because you are the most important person in my life. I think it's mostly Albert. <laughs> Oh, come on, Albert. Enough of that art. I'm serious. I've loved you since the moment I saw you. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. You're the only one that matters to me. Okay. My face gradually got hot. Hey, look at me. No. Do I look like I'm joking? Yes. <laughs> Albert's eyes looked straight at me. I'm sure that he wasn't joking. Because I'm not. I never joke about this. Ha ha ha. 
Why? What could you possibly love about me? Is it the sudden murder spree that I go on when I, when you get hurt? Is that it? All of it. Okay. <laughs> no, stop laughing. <clears throat> he came closer to me. I love the way you look. I love the way you smell. I love the way you speak to me. The way you make hot chocolate for me. The, the way you comfort me. Uh, I love everything. And now that I've told you how I feel. <laughs> Real. Do you love me too? What? Answer me. Well... <laughs> I answered without hesitation and knew my mind better than I thought. I do like Albert a lot. Well, that's because he's the only person in your life. Really? And also, I really want to get a good ending. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> God, you look so cute. I guess he got on the bed. In that case, let's go out on our date on Christmas Eve, shall we? Is there more? Do we happen to kill people on Christmas Eve? What's going on? Date? Uh-huh. I want our first date to be one to remember. Sounds like a plan, right? Wait, this is going way too fast. What? How? We're in a relationship. And that's not too hard to understand, is it? You're actually supposed to have a first date before you have a relationship? Pretty sure. My brain is once again in disarray. Unable to even say half a word. <laughs> well, looks like my baby needs some time to digest. It really sounds like he's talking about a real baby and not his, his girlfriend. <laughs> He gently strokes my reddened face with a smug smile. I'll give you some time to think. You'll need all the rest you can get if you want to be ready by Christmas. <laughs> you just stay here and get that rest. Where are you going? I need to deal with some things. Ah, uh, he's gonna throw some people into the fucking ocean. <laughs> all right. Uh, you already miss me. I... I miss Dopio. <laughs> wait! Wait. Is he... Wait. Other. 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 Hold on. Is it... Okay. No, it's tomorrow. I'm... F wait. Is it? No! Elder! Elder, you have to go! For me! For me! I can't go! So go for me! <laughs> looked surprised and happy, as if he had heard something unique. This is getting harder and harder by the minute. What is getting harder and harder by the minute? <laughs> Are you... <laughs> I'm good. It's working. What should I do? What should I do? No, I really don't want to leave you. But Oh! Cute. I'll be back soon. Be a good girl and wait for me. Bunk 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 bunk. If you need anything, just tell Greg or call me. Bye bye. Just call me. I thought that said just call me Greg. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> I watch Albert's figure disappear behind the door. My heart's still beating fiercely because of what had just happened. So we're now a couple? Before I came here, I didn't expect to go this far with him. I thought we would always just be a little closer than friends. Yeah. I'm gonna actually play with rabbits after this. 
<clears throat> yeah, I'll see you in the VOD. <laughs> Although I did have a crush on him, I didn't think Albert would have such strong feelings for me. Not to mention that he's done so much for me. I would like to do something for him if I could. What did he mean when he said I, he liked what I did for him? I decided to walk around the house to go- THERE'S MORE?! Huh? Although my body still hurts, walking around should be fine. No one's here. Is everyone asleep? Guys. I thought it was gonna end there. And I was gonna be like, oh, go I'm gonna go end the stream. Sorry, hold on. I'm getting really distracted. Give me a second. Okay. Um, I have to mute him. Oh. Whoosh. A figure flashed on the other side of the corridor. Huh? Who's there? It's me. What? Come here. What? Guys. 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 Um. There. Um. There is a ghost. Eliza. Are you in the game? <laughs> uh, Eliza. I know it's cringe. But you don't have to. <laughs> you don't have to come in and change the plot. Wh where are you? I looked around. But there was no one in sight. Am I hallucinating after I fainted yesterday? I'm here. Although I couldn't see- There is a red figure that was on the other side of the corridor. What do you want from me? <laughs> Come and catch me. What? Wait, I recognize that voice. I heard that sound the first night I came here. As expected, a red hat appeared on the floor of the corridor. Christmas Butcher. This name comes to mind. No way. Why is it appearing here? Maybe it's a thief from somewhere? But this is the Claw's home. Where security is tight and no outsiders are likely to enter. I decided to follow this bishop. No! Wait a minute! It's um, it's the real, it's Albert Kruger haunting me. <laughs> He's telling me to go to therapy. It looked like it wanted to play ghost hunting with me and jump down the stairs as fast as it could. <laughs> Stop it! But my muscles don't listen to me. And my body hurts when I run. Bam. Ah. When my body was about to fall down, someone pulled me up. Uh, are you alright? What the fuck? Who is this? Who? This is like male Sharon. No. Greg is old. He looks like a male Sharon. You understand where I'm going? It's okay. It's okay if you're lag. It's you. What? It is me, but like, he is Liam? Oh! <gasps> Oh, well, damn, I didn't think there was going to be a second route. Hold on, let me open the HIO.
I opened the wrong fucking thing. Hold on. <clears throat> Second brother. I used to see him when I came to Albert's house. It's been a long time. You've grown up a lot. He looks so like slight. <laughs> he looks so like baby girl. Hold on. Why does he look so baby girl? You've gotten more mature yourself, Liam. Yeah, the MC has a lot of personality. Liam is still as cold as ever. I always get very nervous when I talk to him. Albert said that you went abroad. Are you back already? No, I just returned to get a few things. I'll be leaving in a bit. Huh? Oh, I get it. It looks like the kid got what he wanted. What? Nothing. Just talking to myself. Why were you running down the hall in such a hurry? Oh, I thought I saw someone suspicious. But I guess I just ended up chasing them down the hall? Suspicious? This house wouldn't let bugs in easily, are you sure? Bugs? Uh, maybe I'm just too tired. You should take care of yourself. You're liable to go crazy if you don't. What does that mean? Liam, you're walking too fast. <gasps> women! I love women! Wait. Why do I look like every woman in this game? Hold on. Oh shit, I forgot about this part. Uh, <laughs> okay, let me move myself into OBS. <laughs> Um, hey. <laughs> uh, we're done. Hey. <laughs> Liam, you're walking too fast. <laughs> oh, done. Okay, let me put myself back. All right. Suddenly, a pink haired girl appeared behind Liam. Hmm? Hmm? Miss Aethra? The May? Is there a side story for this? I want to know. Maybe. She's the maid who used to follow Liam. Oh, hello, dear. It's been such a long time. You don't know yet, do you? Aethra is my fiance. Chat. Chat, what the fuck? Chat, what the fuck is going on? What? Liam, didn't we agree not to disclose it? She's a close friend of ours. There's no need to hide anything from her. I'd always thought their relationship was slightly different from the normal... Yeah, she has a lot of personality, too, um, <laughs> from the normal master-servant relationship. Well, congratulations to you both. I'm so happy to see you again, sweetheart. I'm so happy to see you, too, Aethra. Your eyes look really beautiful today. You've grown up into such a beautiful woman. You, too. Aethra. <laughs> Aethra excitedly took my hand, and she was as kind as ever. <laughs> Thank you, same to you, Miss Aethra. Mm -hmm. Huh? That's funny. That smell. Her sp expression suddenly became a bit stunned. I'm not drooling. What do you mean? Why do you smell like that? Excuse me? But you... you shouldn't be... She. What is she talking about? Are you alright? Aethra. Don't worry about her. She's had an exhausting day. She's alright, Aethra. 
Nothing's wrong. <laughs> She's calling me stinky. I, I'm all right, really, miss. You'd better go rest now. Make sure to conserve your energy. Did this couple just call me stinky? What the fuck? And we'd better leave. Already? Aren't you going to see Albert? We can see each other whenever we want. I'm really not interested in him right now. I just heard that guy pick up his mic or adjust it while he was doing that take. Hold on. <laughs> you and we'd better leave. We can see each other whenever we want. I'm really not interested in him right now. Okay, never mind. I'm going insane. Come along, Aithra. But she... Don't make me repeat myself. What the fuck? No. Alright. I'm leaving now, sweetheart. Make sure to, um... Take care or, you know... Uh, sure. You too. Bye, Liam. Ignore the voice. It isn't real. What? What does she know? What does she mean? Is there anything on me? Liam, I smelled something on her. <gasps> you knew all along, didn't you? I have for quite a long time. But we have to do something quickly. If she doesn't... Don't worry, darling. She's safe for now. Okay, they love each other at least. That's good. <clears throat> I returned to the room in disbelief. That couple just called me delusional. And stinky. <laughs> Although my body still hurts a little. I don't want to stay in the house like this. We just got warned not to do anything about it. What the fuck are you doing? The figure of the suspected Christmas butcher fills my mind. I wonder if I can find something related in the library. Also, I have to go and prepare a Christmas gift for Albert. Where are you going? To the library. Let's go to the library first. Shh. Huh. It's been a long time since I've been here. It's gotten more prominent again. The library was also built by the Claus family. Albert and I used to come here occasionally to study. It would be nice to ask him to come here to read the book together someday. <gasps> I almost forgot why I came. I need to find information about the Christmas butcher first. However, after searching almost the entire library, there's still no relevant- Yeah, I know, me too. On, uh, there's no relevant literature, or only some less credible interview reports. Well, that's all there is to it. I thought I could find some useful books. Or was it really just an illusion? While I was deep in thought, I accidentally bumped into someone else. What? Another man! The information in my hands was scattered all over the floor. Sorry, I was so deep in thought that I didn't see you. It's fine. <laughs> Wait, why do I look like every character in here? Like... <laughs> Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> the person in front of me was a boy with a school uniform who looked younger than me. This school uniform doesn't belong to the school on this island. Is he a traveler? Yeah, I'm their child. Or something. 
He helped me pick up the papers from the floor. Wow, what a beautiful face. I guess so. He's simply stunning, unlike a human. Thank you. Looks like you're in trouble. Uh, no, I just couldn't find the information I was looking for. May I ask you a question? Like what? Do you think that human curiosity more often leads to good things or bad things? Why is he suddenly asking me a, a fucking hypothetical? You could have. He's just helping me pick up these papers. It's okay if you don't want to answer. Oh, could this be his homework? My god, why is he taking psychology? Or, well, philosophy. He has to ask someone else's opinion, right? Don't worry, it's a good question. Good things. I think curiosity is a good thing. Because it brings discoveries and possibilities. Hmm. Thank you for answering. Yeah, I mean... It can lead to bad consequences, but sometimes the bad consequences can lead to good things, you know? Not for the person who got affected, but the pe everyone else, I guess, you know, like... It's, it's bad that it happened, but like, if it didn't happen, we wouldn't know. <clears throat> Thank you for answering. Then again, it's not my homework. Damn, his hair is shining. Huh? This is for you. I finished reading it. What is it? There should be something in here that you want to know. Damn, they were just info dumping with this one, huh? The legendary island. Yeah! Although, the book is incomplete, so the rest is up to you. What? Who are you? How do you know what I want to know? But as soon as I looked up, the boy in the school uniform disappeared. Huh? Where is he going? What a strange kid. Where did this picture book come from? Anyhow, uh, forget it. This is the only reference to see what can be done. I know, right? <clears throat> Real. My guy dropped off a book and said, Peace. Gonna go sleep. I opened the picture book and the text inside was handwritten in addition to the illustrations. A long, long time ago, there was a place called Mommy Island. It's a small island with beautiful scenery. <laughs> Rich resources, and most importantly, a habitat for mermaids near the coast. The mermaids on Mommy Island could trans could transform into a human form, and some of them go to human cities to experience human life. One day, a wealthy businessman was wandered into, wandered into the island, and was rescued by one of the mermaids. Huh? The businessman gets better with the care of the mermaid. So <laughs> Soon after, the two fell in love and had a child. The man decided to settle here, so he bought the island and built a residence and construction here. Besides him and the mermaids, a few selected humans live on the island too. But to prevent the presence of outsiders who have something on mermaids, the businessman has put in place several measures to conceal the presence of mermaids. But the happiness only lasted 10 years. A group of, island of outsiders invaded the island, and their target is mermaids. The business tried to stop them, protecting his children and his wife. 
In the end, the businessman died in a dispute. The mermaid, who was too late to stop everything, rushed to the scene, hugged her dead lover, and wept. She was so angry that she decided to use all her strength to take revenge on those selfish humans. That's a terrible curse. <sighs> now I think we're the mermaid. The it's um us rescuing is um basically uh, taking him in like emotionally, and the getting better part is like helping him kind of uh, be a bit more normal, or just like have someone he cares about. Hmm. And. Yeah. Just as I got to the book's most intense part, I realized it was the last page. <clears throat> and the uh, dispute is basically everything that happened with Sharon. And, you know, we took the revenge. Huh? Is this the end? What a strange story. I have, however, I wonder what this story has to do with the Christmas Butcher. Why on earth would that student show me this? The mam the mummy island described in this book is some similar to Snowflake Island. But mermaid, there's something. That's the first time I've heard of it. Will there be a sequel to this picture book? I wonder why I'm curious about what happens after that. I took the picture book to the library counter and asked for it. But I was told it was outside the library's collection, let alone the sequel. What's up with the book that's not here? Did this student bring it himself? Yeah, maybe that's his project. You need to leave it with like a review maybe. But how should I give it back to him? <clears throat> I walked around the library but couldn't see the student. No one had seen him, even after asking the custodian. He hasn't left Snowflake Island, has he? Never mind. I have to keep it for him for now. The result is that I did not find anything. Let's go for a walk somewhere else. Where are you going? To the school. After what happened last night, I'm actually a little afraid to go back. The place that was full of good memories suddenly became very strange. When I think of the people who I thought were my best friends hating me all the time, I can't help but wonder what that time really was for me. Even so, I would like to go again. It would be really funny if we saw Sharon, but I think we killed her, so... <laughs> when I returned to the entrance of my alma mater, I was calmer than I thought I would be. Why didn't I notice the people hitting me at the time? Is it because I was so naive? I can't imagine my school life without Albert. Albert has done so much to make me enjoy my school life. I can't become so vulnerable. Even after knowing the truth, this place is still full of memories of Albert and I. So I still don't hate this place. Hey, did you hear about Miss Sharon? A few students happened to pass by me, and when I heard Sharon's name, I unconsciously pricked up my ears. Oh yeah, someone told me that she just decided to drop out of her job and leave the country. Resignation? Go abroad? Really? I know she's not here, but why would she need to leave the country? I don't know, but that's what they said in the staff room. Is she really gone? Finally! I didn't like her in the first place. Is she really gone? Me neither. She always looked down on everyone, like she was the queen or something. The boys got farther away, and I couldn't hear what they were saying anymore. Sharon was arrested, wasn't she? 
Understandably, she resigned, but why did she get to leave the country? Or is it just a rumor? Since Albert was the one who sent her to the police station, she would need more time to get out. I shouldn't overthink it. Preparing Albert's Christmas gift. Honestly, girl, go to the lingerie shop. Come on. I got you. I went to the shopping street w and wandered around while thinking about what to get for Albert. Well, it's really hard to decide. You know, a smart idea w would be to just put my model on top of the MC. <laughs> so I'm not blocking text, but I think it's funny, so I'm gonna keep it like this. Although we send gifts to each other every year, this year's gift had to be special. Because this is the first gift after we became a couple. A couple. I still can't believe it. I immediately blush again when I think about what Albert told me this morning. What, did you get him hurt? With absolutely, like, no effort? How can he say such things so easily? Damn, was he this charming before? Why does he like me so much? Well... Ah! Jump scare. Albert jump scare? <laughs> Why did he just call at such a perfect timing? Hello? Ah, you finally picked up. Honey, what are you doing? Honey! Sorry, you're not used to that yet, are you? Or do you not like it? It's not that I don't like it. Ah, so you're shy? Oh, fuck. I hate having... Oh my god, it's cold. <laughs> cute. I don't think he knows what a pookie bear is. Hey! So, how are you doing? Uh, fine. I went out for a walk. A walk? Hey, didn't I tell you to get some rest? It looks like someone is being naughty. Well, it's just that you... Me? Did you miss me so much that you came looking for me? No, it's not that. It's hmm? then what is it? Stop interrupting me, bitch! <laughs> Look, I'll be home soon. Just forget I said anything. Hmm. Yeah, real. Uh, although it seems like it's winter, so I don't know how long the sun's gonna last. All right. What about me? You? You never told me where you went. <sighs> I went some ways away. Away? How far away? Did something happen? Secret. Secret. Hmm. Huh. It's not something dangerous, is it? You're still injured. Of course not, my dear. Don't worry. Ah, I need to go. See you tonight. Hmm. Well. Bye bye, honey. It's just a change of nickname. My heart almost can't take it. It's driving me crazy. The thought of going out with Albert for the first time made my heart flutter with excitement. I need to calm down. I should decide on Albert's Christmas gift. The things he likes. Sporting goods. Because Albert's particularly fond of and good at water sports. But he already has them. And I've given them as a gift to him before. Games? How about me? Yeah! You, honey! Why isn't me an option? I'd do it. 
for fun. Hello? <laughs> wow, it's exactly how I remember it. I'm thankful that Albert did find someone to clean it every day. I tried to... Well, okay. Let's finish this up before Christmas. What are we fucking doing, girl? Whew, I'm exhausted. But finally, a large part of it is finished. The rest can be done tomorrow. Oh, no. Sorry, I just burped a little. I'm so sorry. I looked at my phone and it was already night time. Shit! <laughs> it's already that late. I need to head back right now. I quickly organized my kitchen and flew back to Albert's house. Woo! We made it in one piece. When I returned to Albert's house, he was nowhere to be found. Are you still out? Mm. Oh. No. Come back. Don't worry. I'll wait for you to come back. I'll go to the room first and wait for him. Hmm? Why is Albert's door open? Oh no. Sneaking is not good. You find something weird. It's a little neater than before. I looked around and there were pictures of us in the cabinet. Uh, together in the cabinet by the wall. Oh, I missed this. Huh? This I gave this doll to him when I was in high school and I still can't believe he's keeping it. That's why you don't go into people's rooms! I want to be stupid, I do not want to know! Ah! Save. <laughs> uh. Oh no. What the fuck? Goddamn, we got a fucking high tech security case! Fucking... What? Whose blood is this? What? Me. Huh? Huh? Yo, they got clippers! Holy shit! He's got a clipper! Babe, that's enough. Good girl. It's time to go to sleep. Um... Am I... I knew that green shirt wasn't for nothing. We're the fucking Grinch. Wait, he looks so cute. Ah. Wait, why is he so happy? Why are you happy? Why are you laughing? <laughs> ah. My consciousness began to blur when a familiar voice sounded from behind me. Hey. What? I feel like I'm gonna get fucking thrown into the wall and called slurs or something. I told you to be good and wait for me to come back. Why aren't you doing what I said? Albert, why? Come on, darling. Be a little clearer. I don't understand one-word questions. You know about all of these, right? Of course. Damn it. This is all my fault. I should not have let you run around. Well, I said his name and then said why, so it's like, you know. 
I collapse helplessly into Albert's arms. Sleep again, my baby. Do you think this happens to everyone that they like? Like, in the family? Or is it just like an Albert thing? <laughs> what a giant fuck. Where am I? As I was walking, I saw a familiar back. Albert? He didn't respond to me, but kept his eyes on the crying child in front of me. In front of him. As Albert is a child. At that moment, a dark figure approached the crying Albert. No! No! No way! I opened my eyes, and there was a ceiling in front of, of Albert's room. Honey, are you awake? Albert? Did you sleep well? I can't believe you fell asleep in my room. He's gaslighting me! <laughs> God damn it, Santa Claus! Hey, your bitch ass woods gaslight me. I looked around at the... In the days, and my eyes found the doll on the bookcase, and I remembered what had just happened. Stomach acid. What's wrong? Are you all right? Stay away from me! I'm a monster. <sighs> Damn, the medicine isn't working very well, is it? Um, Albert, you knew about this? Why did you hide it from me? What was that room? Whose... Whose blood is that? Sharon and the others, they weren't arrested, were they? Oh no. Um, uh, quick. Uh, wait, what part were you last? It's okay, Merlin is really important. Much more important than Santa Claus being a yandere. <laughs> Merlin is phobic, per <laughs> I think, period. Huh? Hmm. Sorry, hold on. Alright. What? <laughs> No, 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 give me a second. I was, um, tinkering with my parameters. Log. Whose blood is that? Uh, this is all it said. Okay. <laughs> I don't think you actually missed anything. If that was all you... Oh, okay. Uh, ito. Oh, 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 okay. So, so, so. Um, we watched the clip. <laughs> he got a, his, uh, his stream set up so advanced. He got clippers on the scene. Um, and, uh. So, we watched the clip. Uh, and the, then we're like, oh my god, or no. And then Albert comes into it and is like, haha, I stab you with the medicine. And, um, I stab with you and you with the medicine, and then you faint and are supposed to forget. And now he's pretending that, um, 
He's pretending that um, uh, nothing happened, but we woke up with the memories. And now she's just laying it all out. Uh, no. And the disappearance of my uncle and aunt, the same thing happened to them, right? I collapsed into a barrage of questions. And Albert just looked at me without saying a word. You know what happened to them, right? Tell me, Albert. Tell me what happened. Tell me. <laughs> Honey, you have too many questions. He was holding a syringe at some point. Come on, let's sleep again. Just forget all of them. And this time, I'll make sure you don't remember. Albert, I think I deserve to know. I'm sorry. No! Whose blood is that? Come on. <laughs> I know, right? Who would say all right to that? Be a good girl, won't you? you? He has to be extra good at rising for me to say yes to that. Why won't you answer me? I won't let you do it. I won't let you do it again to me. I want answers. I don't want to forget again. You're becoming irritating. Okay, and pop off. His words were a tacit acknowledgement of the fact that I was a monster. So is it true? I became that monster and killed Sharon and the others. Listen to me. I don't want to listen. Stay away from me. I pushed him away and held my head in his hands. In my hands, not in his hands. Oh my god. <laughs> what have I done? Why did you hide it from me? Why didn't you stop me? Is that why you always wanted me to stay inside? So I'd be forced to stay away from anyone else? So that I couldn't keep hurting people? I always stop. So I am the monster. That's why everyone hates me. No! You're not a monster. You haven't done anything wrong. You don't have to feel sorry for those sons of bitches. They had to turn him down because he was peeking, huh? <laughs> Albert grabbed me a hundred. Okay, so Rangers, you're gonna need to be turned off. Fuck down, bro. I'm gonna turn up my personal volume. All they do is ruin the lives of everyone they touch. Someone had to knock some sense into them. They finally paid the price. Oh, he peeked right there. He was too close to the microphone. Besides, if you didn't do it, I was going to anyways. Damn, they haven't done much sound editing to him. No, Albert. Please. Oh. I'm not gonna read that part. <laughs> I can't take this anymore. I sobbed uncontrollably as the fragmented memories caused me pain. Stop it! Stop saying things like that! He angrily he grabbed... A syringe full of unknown blood from his hand and was about to stab me when he stopped. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> he dropped the syringe on the floor helplessly. Well, let's try it again, okay? We'll go to sleep, forget everything, and wake up with an award winning smile on your face. I just want you to smile forever. Why can't I even do that? Fuck the curse! God damn! I don't know why I'm surprised. I knew what the twist was basically at this point.
Albert showed an expression of pain that I had never seen before, and my heart instantly ached like a tear. I tried to grab his hand, but he turned his head and walked away. Listen, I'm not going to let you leave here. If you insist on putting yourself in unnecessary pain, go ahead! But you're never going to leave me. I don't care if you're in pain or if you're as happy as a damn rabbit! I'm not a rabbit right now, bro. As long as you're mine. <laughs> oh, here he is. Albert, wait! Albert, you didn't close the fucking veranda, you bitch. I stared blankly at the empty ceiling. Girl, try the fucking balcony. Have you? Have you? Girl, just... <laughs> if that's your plan, try the balcony. God damn it. No matter what, the image of me turning into a monster still comes to mind. Tearful, cruel, crazy. Why did I become like that? We don't know that. She hasn't tried it. <laughs> the feeling of resin dew in the, my hands is so scary. I can't breathe. Thinking I might have done the same thing before. Hi, Merlin. You're my favorite chatter. I've never wanted to hurt anyone, let alone kill someone. Jeez, I just want to die. In any case, it is hard for me to accept all of this. I wish it was all a dream. I curled up into a ball. The last time I had a breakdown like this was when my adoptive parents left me. Thanks to Albert staying by my side, I could smile again. Why does Albert continue to hang out with me even though he knows I'm a monster? He treats me like a normal person and loves me like that. Or is it that he actually likes me as a monster? Me too. Um, at that moment. I noticed the compartment in the cabinet next to the bed was not closed. Just as I was about to turn it off, something fell down. It's an old notebook. <laughs> like me too. I'm also your friend. But not always. <laughs> and immediately recognize Albert's handwriting. Is this? Yo, he has a diary, guys. Look at this guy go. No, I can't just look at other people's diaries. A note fell from the diary. Only Alec and I can read this. Should I read it? Yes. I want to read it even more since it's written this way. Perhaps I can find out what Albert really thinks here. I hope it's just a um a line that just says, I love you, 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 you know? But at that moment, I need something to distract me. I slowly opened the diary. And the first started with the day I met him. He started to like me from that time. I thought back to the good old days that we had. Ten years ago. Damn. I hope I didn't keep you too long. Damn, this game is long. <laughs> no, just for a moment. Wait, what's wrong with your face? And your hands? Why are they wrapped in bandages? <laughs> uh, did you fight someone? Uh -huh. <laughs> you idiot. I told you no more fighting. Ouch! Don't pinch me! It hurts! I just hit them because they said something rude. Don't act like a kid. You can't keep 
hurting yourself like this. I'm fine. No, you're not. Look at you. You got the candy ad candy cane looking ass thing stuck to your fucking hurt. Come on, give me a hug. What the please don't be angry. I bought that game you wanted to play. Let's head to my place and play together, okay? I I guess? Yay! Let's go. I get kidnapping. Whew. Oh no, look at the time. I have to go home. I can't leave now. It's like if I don't get home, I'll be scolded by my uncle and aunt. What does it matter? It's not like they care anyways. Why don't you stay overnight at my house? I I know, but they're my only family. Even though they don't like me, I'd better go back. I'm your family too, you know. Not yet, we're not married. Did you say something? <laughs> Never mind, it's nothing. If you really need to go, how about I drive you there? Do you even have a license, Candy Cane Man? It's only a short distance away, I'll be alright. See you tomorrow. Wow, she really ran off in a hurry. <laughs> it's just like a fox chasing a rabbit. Damn, he really likes rabbits. I know, right? <gasps> Ooh. I hope they won't be angry today. Oh god, why am I referring to myself in the third person? <laughs> I ran home gasping for breath and hurriedly took off my shoes. As she was about to open the door, she paused when she opened and heard a strange conversation. That girl is so annoying. Can't she just shut up for one second? Noisy and troublesome. She's always been that way. She acts so sweet just to rub us up. She's not blood related. What does she want from us? If the townsfolk wouldn't have gotten suspicious, I wouldn't have even thought about taking her in. I'm surprised the claws is just didn't straight up like, yo, we'll step in. You know. What a waste of our hard-earned insurance money. We almost lost everything trying to support her. Insurance money? What are they talking about? Why couldn't we have just taken the insurance money and run? We should have offed her before she got the chance to tell anyone. It's done. There's no use in complaining about it. But, you know, I bet her parents are missing her real bad. Right about now. What do you mean? Damn it! How long have you been standing there? You said my mom and dad were killed in an accident. The driver was driving out of control, right? You said it was a drug overdose. Get out of my way, you useless brat. <laughs> Aren't you even going to defend yourself? Shh. There's no point in hiding it. There's nothing you can do about it now. You did. You really killed them. Why? Why would you kill your own family? Isn't it obvious? Their money was enough for us to enjoy for the rest of our lives. Were you the ones who burned down the cafe too? Hey, blame them for keeping the will and insurance beneficiary documents in there. We knew those little twits were going to leave all their money to you. But of course, when we went searching for it, we couldn't find the damn thing. How could you do that? Mom and Dad loved you. Love? The only thing in the world that those bitches loved was you. Just go ahead and try telling the police. 
They'll never believe you. Hello, Nix. Um, we're having a mental breakdown. Their fierce faces made her vomit. Alex breathing somehow started to become rapid, and her vision was gradually tinged with a layer of red. Unforgivable. Unforgivable. She had a strong inner voice. Kill them. <laughs> Unforgivable. 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 The man unraces his hand and punches me in the face while she's. <laughs> That's my inner voice, okay? Like, not hers. What, the soy sauce? <laughs> I should have put a Santa hat on. Let me check. Give me a second. I'm sure I have one. Oh yeah, I do. <laughs> Here we go. We got this. Kill them. <laughs> Alright, let's fucking go. Well, she stops him with a force that is not hers. What the? Uh. My aunt, who sensed something wrong, tried to attack her, uh, but she avoided it. The girl relentlessly attacked the two of them, and the two adults, taller than her, had no power to fight back. <gasps> like a robot, she moved her hands without consciousness while tears flowed down her face. She did not notice what state the person in front of her was, nor did she notice Albert watching at all. He intended to make the first move. Like those guys at school. <laughs> no! Don't call, don't call me that! What the fuck? Then make anyone who hurts Alec pay for it. We had no idea that she would suddenly become that way. Realizing it was too late, he ran to her and hugged her tightly. Stop fighting! You'll hurt yourself! I like his voice the most when he's doing like this kind of deeper like thing. Looking at the her unusual face, he realized it was not the girl he used to know. Your eyes. Don't tell me you're from that cursed family. No, it doesn't matter. He yelled her tightly again it's okay it's okay even if you become a monster i'll always stay by your side huh <gasps> wait i think i get it i think i get it so the main character is descended from the mermaid and the and the businessman and he's descended maybe from the guys who invaded the land thoughts um nom 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 <laughs> um nom 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 i think that's what they're trying to say Where the fuck is Twitch chat? I can't see it. Uh, don't. Uh, send it to me on Discord and then I'll laugh if it's funny. Um, nom 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 nom.
<laughs> Hi. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> nice. Alec has no intention of stopping her attack as she tries to break free from Albert's arms. Ouch. Oh, fuck! Oh, no! Oh, no! Not Albert! She... Oh. Oh. Damn. Girl. Hello, brave. She bit him hard on the shoulder, but Albert held her tightly in pain. <laughs> I really left him on. He was really into it's that. Okay, <laughs> I want to. I want the Baldur's Gate um, a thingy here where it just says Albert approves. <laughs> Even if it hurts, the bite truly means something if it's from you. That's how much I love you. Huh? Why are you licking my blood? He definitely did! Soon, Alex's pupils returned to their original color and she collapsed in Albert's arms. Great. It's back to the usual you. Is it because you licked my blood? Health, po health potion, that PNG. I guess that's what the book said. Albert held up the sleeping Alec and picked up the phone. Sleep tight, my dear. The phone? You need your rest. Maybe... Maybe Aethra and, um... The MC are cousins. <clears throat> Albert looked at Alec, still asleep, and gently pushed her hair. Away. Poor baby. Stop calling me baby. He opened a heavy book by his bedside, a rule passed down from gen generation to generation the Claus family, which also contains the family his history. I thought mermaids and their human descendants were just fairy tales, but I guess it's true. Now I know why everyone in my family is so good at water sports. Albert turned to one of the pages with the cursed of mermaid ancestors. It's the other way? My bad. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Their mermaid ancestors had placed on the invaders. To let the selfish humans feel the same pain. The descendants of the invaders will go berserk if their beloved ones are killed or seriously hurt. If they are not treated or leave the island, they will go berserk until they die. And only the m blood of the class family's members can be soothed to the berserk state. But those people, they go berserk until they die. Lips. Why does it have to be you? You never did anything wrong! I mean, I just killed two people, so, like, I don't know. I can't let that happen to you. If my blood can heal you, I'll give you all of it. I'll stay here <laughs> with you. Girl, it's a bad trip! The Claus family line cannot leave Snowflake Island before they reach adulthood because of the mermaid's physiology. Otherwise, they will be dead. Shit. If I'm going to heal you, I must endure it. Just, I need you to love me with all your heart. Albert gently stroked Alex. <laughs> Alex was. I always thought that as long as I stayed by your side. Always protected you, always loved you. And you will be okay. As long as the person who stays by your side is me, I'm satisfied. Hello! Thank you.
胖。Yeah, I thought I was just going to get a usual, you know, um, yeah, yeah, ah, uh, fuck, um, <laughs> oh, me needy girl, like, <laughs> but what would it take to make you love me with all of your heart? What if you knew and then you... I can't even imagine what life would be like without you. You know the turtle in um the emotes that we have? And I, I don't know if it's like... I don't know if it's lifeboat or deathful. But that turtle... That's me right now. <laughs> Young master. Oh, Did Greg! You know? Greg! Greg is here, guys. Greg, Cheer up. Is the exchange program our family sponsored before still available? Yes. Didn't she say she wanted to visit an outside design school? Yeah. That turtle. Thank you for both sending it to me. Let her go. But, your master, you cannot follow. Your body will... Well, Greg, Greg, what will it do? I know. If I could, I'd want more than anything to keep her with me. However, the curse on her leaves me no choice but to get her as far away from here as possible. Greg, you're the best character in this game. This is the only way I can protect her. Also, I need to always know her state and physical condition. I will send my blood to the doctor there regularly so she can have it in case she needs it. Understood. Don't worry, my dear. I will help you arrange everything. The college you go to, the place you work, the bed you rest your head on, and the day you return to me. No matter where you are, I will take care of you. I mean, it's just, you know, like, a little, like, you know, pa, like, one syringe, maybe. Until the day I see you again, when I'll let you fall in love with me wholeheartedly. And then I'll, I'll never have to say goodbye again. I'm not sobbing right now, girl. It's real. He is an idiot. Yeah, what the fuck? Rich boy, what the fuck? Why has he always loved me like this? Hey, man. I. <laughs> this is so much more amusing than staying at work. What do you mean? Giving love to a monster like me. What? What? Who called my boy a simp? Was it... Eliza, is this you? <laughs> Eliza, stop calling my boy a simp. Hey man, leave him alone. Huh? What do you want from me?
What? This is too happy. Don't you dare hurt him, you monster. He was the one who made you this way. He was the one who ruined your life. Is that really love? Shut up. Stop talking. It's enough. Send help! Oh! Oh my god, they do! Huh? Wait, this is so pretty. No! <laughs> no way. Are you actually thinking about leaving me? Albert, get your hand! He pulled the shard away as if it were natural, and blood gushed out in large quantities. You're not acting like yourself. Come on, take your medicine! <laughs> He's giving me the grandma. Come on, let's get you to bad treatment! I hardly tore up. Off a part of the cl what the fuck? These two care so much for each other, but do not want to live. <laughs> Are you insane? Leave me alone. No, you're the one who's insane. I feel insane. <laughs> I feel insane. The VA is doing so good. What are you talking about? Please just calm down, Albert. You're the one who needs to calm down. Albert, I'm gonna have a breakdown for things outside of this fucking VN. He grabbed my hand harder. Why do you think I've gone through all this pain for you? Don't you understand? I can't live without you! Since the day I met you, you have been the only one in my world! I would do anything for you. I'd die for you! Don't do that! Even if you don't feel the same way, I won't let you go! I'll say! I'll make you stay with me forever! No matter what. Okay. Don't want to. Even if it makes you hate me. Stop breaking down. I'm gonna have a breakdown. His voice and this is not slightly, and his eyes were full of tears. You can't. You can't leave. What? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll get you. Listen to me. <laughs> Shut up. I I feel the same way. I love you with all of my heart. I can't leave live without you too. Yo yo <laughs> With the whole world abandoned me, you were the only one who stayed by my side. If anything were to happen to you, I don't think I could take that. Knowing it would be my fault. I don't want you to die. That's why I can't stay here. What the hell are you talking about? Albert, you know what I'm talking about. I read your diary and I know all about it. A girl, you really just saw some guy's diary and I was like, I know all about this. <laughs> Anytime. Something happens to me. You use your blood to bring me back to normal. Girl, you do know he regenerates blood, right? Like, that's not like a... Blood is not like... Of course he's not... It's not like a completely... 
you know, like, unlimited supply, but he has enough, girl. Like, you know? <laughs> I'm going and I'm gonna go insane. Hey! Well, I'm not gonna stick around to see what the result is. I'm leaving, and that's final. I rolled back the covers and planned to get out of there. I should run far away for his sake. No. Oh, good, good. Please, please, please. You said you loved me, right? God, why can't you just believe me, Albert? Ah! Chat, what? Chat, I'm gonna go insane. Chat. Chat, I have to turn myself down because of how loud I'm being. Girl, I'm about to fucking die. <laughs> if we really are in love, then it's alright to do something like this. Right? Yes, but not right now. <laughs> Wait, what are you gonna do? Open your mouth. What? Wait, hold on. I have to change. Fuck. <laughs> I'm this. No. I didn't want it to come to this. I really didn't. When you left me with no other option, prove to me that you really love me. I almost called him Claude because that's all I'm seeing right now. <laughs> Albert, no! <laughs> Albert, you're still bleeding, no! Chat, what the fuck? Chat! Chat, what the fuck? Chat, I've turned myself down two decibels and I need to turn myself down more because I'm yelling. Holy shit. Damn, what the fuck is wrong with their baby? Um. <laughs> Give me a second, I'm turning myself down to 50%. Hello, chat. Okay, I'll turn myself back up a little bit. 60. I'm not reading this out loud. I guess it went well. What the fuck? Did they do it for a week? What's going on? Good morning, darling. Oh no! <laughs> no! I don't think- wait, no. Wait, uh, no, I think I'm right. I think, um, oh, no. Aether might be our cousin or something. He has a big personality too, real. Wait, wait, kind of, this kind of freaked up. What the hell? 
I feel like that kind of should stay with you. What the? Honey, what are you doing? <laughs> Girl, stop it. Sorry, did I wake you up? I woke up as soon as I felt that you weren't in my arms. You're such a baby. <laughs> Do we need to be together 24 hours a day for you to feel at ease? Do you mean it? You're willing to stick with me 24 hours a day? That's not what I meant at all. I hope you haven't forgotten that this is our first date tonight. Yo, they've done so much and it's only their first date? Damn. Of course I remember. <laughs> I am going to go and prepare for it first. What is there to prepare? That giant chocolate cake. <laughs> you. Whoops. <laughs> I feel like I'm looking at something forbidden. Like, how would you know? <laughs> Just guessing. Can he put on a shirt? Like, liar. <laughs> I knew you were stalking me. Damn it. I wanted to surprise you. You're such an idiot. Wait, please don't go. Don't be mad. I'm still super happy knowing you're preparing a cake for me. I initially was looking at his eyes. And he- them are they beautiful. I've got gifts and surprises for you as well. I know you'll love them. Are you still mad at me? What to do to change your mind? What to do? Oh, I need your help. <laughs> Wait, where's OBS? about this I should say who wouldn't forgive him you're too crafty even your angry face is cute you know <laughs> why don't we continue until you're not angry it's playing a Christmas song in the background Continue with what? <laughs> you know what I mean. He give me another kiss. Tell me you love me. Promise me you'll never leave my side. I promise. I can't leave you either. You're finally mine. I love you. This is how it's supposed to end. I think I got the good ending. <laughs> what do you guys think? <laughs> Oh, best! Wait. Yeah! Alright, let's get out of the screen. God. Oh, wait. Oh, your favorite character. Mystery boy. A young man stood in a cliff not too, not far away. And quietly watched the loving couple. And they lived happily ever after. Or something like that. Why is there a dog? And why did he sound like a motorcycle? <laughs> Interesting, right? 
the prince really designed the perfect trap. And the princess never put the pieces together in time. Was her love too blind, or was the deceiver too clever? In any case, he finally got everything he wanted. It's finally over, and the villain has won. Not your typical story, hmm. Unless you were rooting for him. I was, actually. Time. I was. <clears throat> I hope you're happy with this ending. I am very happy. I admit it. I could have done something to stop it. I'll have to pay more attention next time. Um. This island, it slowly drives all of its inhabitants insane. One by one. Then the question is, who's next? Pog! Pog! Um... Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna end stream. I took massive, um, uh, psychic damage from that. Have a good night. I'll see y'all in Discord. Love. Uh... I said, what the, what the hell did you just send me in my DMs? Why did you say that to me?